like a bit of Skyrim. Oh, like some Skyrim. You get distracted on those games because you go on a long mission and then it's like, ah, it's cold. And do you know what? Those missions, they drag on sometimes. Like Skyrim. I don't know if we spoke about my, my playing Skyrim pre previously on. Yeah, a little bit. Just a little bit. I think, yeah. So I've created um, a wood elf. Nice. I, up, I got um, I got the, the, the remastered kind of like special edition. Special thing graphics, you. 4K. And that, shiny the, fireworks. The only thing I can say is with, with it looks how it looked back when it first came out. It's basically they've just enhanced it so much to the point it's like your eyes are seeing it for the first time again back when that looked incredible. Nice. You know, it's not to the point where it looks brand new. No. It's just put a coat of varnish on it. Yeah, that's and all right. A bit shinier. It it, yeah, it, it makes it more pleasing to the eye than if I was playing on the original version where I guarantee you it probably looks like a bag of dicks now. Back in the day. Back in the day. That's 10 years old this year. 10 years old. Yeah, that's pretty old, man. When are they going to bring out a new one? I know. I'm, I, the thing is, I'm quite digging a bit, a bit of Skyrim. I'm doing a bit of nostalgia. There's loads of stuff on there that I realized I hadn't actually done. Oh, there's a lot. Especially if you start getting to the higher levels. There's loads of, like, you go through teleports into other realms and shit. Yeah, like I'm, I, I'm forgetting like half of the stuff that's on there. Um, I've done. Oh, what have I done at the minute? This is, this is some nerdy talk. Fuck it. Um, I went. I've done all the. Th Actually, I haven't done all the thieves guild. The thieves guild in the in the little kind of like uh sewer that you live. Yeah, yeah. I think that was the first thing I did. That is one of the first ones I did because I wanted to get the uh, the special lock pick. Yeah. So I could level up my lock pick to a hundred. Get the unbreakable lock pick perk. And that way, I can then complete the the um, like the, the mission strand of the thieves, and then I'll be off, and I'll never have to worry about lockpicks again. Yay! Because that's a nightmare. So I'm thinking, I, I'm I'm playing the game a little bit there. I've done uh, the Dark Brotherhood shit. That's so a good one. That was a fun one with the charred corpse woman at the end. You got all the uh, DLCs as well in the uh, in the special yeah. edition, so you can do all those new missions that like didn't come out straight away. No, I had the. I think I had the Dawn Guard one, so the vampire one. Yeah, had everyone that. had that. I vaguely remember playing that because I remember getting a crossbow. Um, but I don't think I ever played the uh, the Dragonborn one. Oh, that's a good one. You should play that. that one, I I've only just right. Bear, bear in mind, I have done a lot on this game. I have, I think I've done quite a majority of things that are about. Um, and I don't do the main quest. Because I don't want to faff around with the dragons for ages. Yeah, fuck the dragons, man. Dragons Think are bullshit. Ahead. The plan ahead is to get the bulk done, then faff with the dragons, and then I'll start to do that stuff as well. Job done. So, just killed my first dragon. Well done. And absorbed its soul into my paws. Oh, now you can do a shout. I uh, know. So, what I want to do is go find a giant and just shout at him right in his penis direction. Ugh. And just watch him crumble. Yeah, stupid giant. With that amount, because it's unrelenting force. So I'm shouting unrelenting force into his uh, crotchal region. Yeah, he's not going to like that. He's not going to enjoy it at all. It's going to do some serious damage and probably make him infertile. That's, good. that's that's the way to go about taking down a giant, is you just want to unrelenting force shout at their crotch. People keep sh moaning about the dragons in the game. Why not just make them all infertile so they can't reproduce anymore? No more dragons. Uh, giants. Oh, giants. giants. Or dragons. dragons. I've only killed one yet. I haven't dealt with the rest of them yet. Nah, they'll die. There's going to be a whole to do with yeah, these dragons. It's a nightmare with the dragons. So I've killed that one pretty easy, though. Like, mm. I did, like, proper, like, frig it up. Yeah, it's a bit of a pussy. There's tougher ones, though. They, they get tougher. They do get. I'm assuming it is. I, you know, being. I'm level, like, 43 or 4 at the minute. Pussy. So, um, leveling up. Doing my thing, doing some sneaking. With... You do? Do you do magic? You got one handed? You two handed? I've got, I've got a blade, the blade of woe that I got from the uh, um, the, the uh, assassin people. Whoa! Uh, what they called the uh, dark brother? It was or something about him. Yeah, the assassinators. Uh, special blade because it does like ex extra damage. It takes ten points of health or something like that. Mm, nice. Um, and then I've got like now I've got I was having flames, but I've got just got an adept uh, magic, uh, which is a like chain lightning. So it just goes around freaking everybody. Oh, yeah, I love chain lightning. You feel like fucking the dark. Yes, Emperor Palpatine. <laughs> Do it. 
<laughs> so uh, yeah, I, I'm doing that in a minute. I've got my little wood elf. Um, I named him. Uh, I look. I googled um, elvish names. So oh, googled elvish names. elvish names. I thought let's go traditional with this. That's a bit of fun. So his full name is Rastorfian. That's a great name, Rastorfian. Do you know what it, tra- you know what it translates to? Tell me, Clive. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is Clive and Elvish apparently. Rastorfian. How true it is, I don't know, but he's called Rastorfian and he is translated to Clive. I like that Friends call him Clive. His elf brother, his elf brothers call him Ras. Oh, Ras! <laughs> what a good. So uh, that's what he's doing. He's running around at the minute, just uh, just beating the crap out of people. But I've done a lot of uh, some really fun little missions on it. But it's when you get into the dwarven ruins. That's when it becomes our whole mashugana. I hate the dwarven ruins. You get lost in those things. Those things are so freaking long and in depth and just so much. And then you get to start to get you have to get deeper and deeper underground. Then you get to those weird like freaking goblin people. Oh, I hate the goblin people. And then you and think that's... you're out, and then you're stuck in like a oh I haven't got the key to get out. So you have to go back in and find your way back the way you came to get out again. I'm, I'm very methodical with my searching of each room. And everything, getting all the loot that I possibly can, um, and that's that's a whole thing as well. I swear to God, there was a thing in there where it had like you could fast travel when you're overcumbered, as they call it, and oh, you've got yeah. too much. Now I don't know if I'm getting myself maybe muddled with Fallout Four. Oh, the Fallout, um, which is obviously made by the same people. But I'm pretty sure I did have there. There was a like a perk for that where you could fast travel when you've got, um. The watch Mahuzi, so too yeah, much man, there is. There's a thing. It's like uh, you got to upgrade one of your your things to the top level, and then you can do it. Maybe yeah, it's like sneak. It Maybe you got to upgrade sneak. So I think it's pickpocket. Might be pickpocket. I, I know pickpocket. There is a perk on there. Look, we're really probably getting nerdy with this. I'm loving it. Um, when uh, there is like a perk on there where you can increase it by a hundred or something like that. Um, and like each time you upgrade your stamina, you get like extra like pockets or something. I'd hate to see in real life what this guy looked like. Because he would have the worst posture imaginable. The amount of shit that this man is carrying around on a daily basis whilst fighting, running, swimming, climbing, all the stuff. Well, if you ask me, that sounds like great exercise. He'd probably have fantastic posture. Be great. He's got legs like a powerful draft horse at this point. Jesus. A powerful like what horse? A giraffe, giraffe horse. Draft horse. Oh, a draft. I thought he said a giraffe horse. Like, what kind of fucking long neck <laughs> motherfucker like, is that? That's a new, whole new animal. <laughs> A horse with an abnormally long neck. Well, I've been working on animal splicing, so animal splicing. <laughs> but I dabble in it from time to time. Yeah, the horse, <laughs> the horse zebra, zebra horse with the giraffe neck. Old thing. You know what it is. Um, but yeah, that's what I've been playing on at the minute. Fuck 